it could be anything from uh, he initially told uh, his attorney I was going to do it and he just got cold feet. Uh, that's probably what happened. The other thing is that um, they hadn't really, he hadn't really decided what he was gonna do. Uh, that's another possibility, although uh, less, um, less so. I'll let, I'll let my colleague do, do the percentages on that. To convict somebody, it's always the DNA. Why is that? Uh, typically because it's it's um, it's a foundational issue it's a reliance on the technology even she did I believe in, in the beginning of her, of her interview said that um, it's it's fairly new the science um, so it hasn't reached the level of other sciences that have been allowed in through the judicial system to be used to to be admissible evidence also it allows um, it, it typically becomes moot just like we had the off-air discussion that it, it allows you to get the DNA of the person that is uh, the suspect. So, you know, you just it just leads you there and then you connect the two and then the whole thing is moot anyway. So um, that's typically what, why you would use it, not use it, excuse me.